um, today, well, this weekend, Lord Father God, we just um, we want to take your name up, up high and, and give you the honor, Lord Father God. We baptized um, over 80 guys so far this weekend. Um, and you know what? We trust in God that those 80 guys will bring a revival to wherever they go. Um, I just want to thank God and thank, um, thank the guys that, that have made that decision in their life. You know, so yeah, we give God all the glory, all the honor. And next year, 2017, we pray for for a thousand, thousand to be baptized. Amen. God bless, guys. Okay, Isaac, it's Clive. So it's your first time here, eh? Yes. And you just got baptized, eh? Yes. Awesome, man. So how do you like the camp? Um, oh, it's beautiful, man. It's, I'm shocked the way the way the people are. How many people are here? Thousands of people are here. And it's very great and to see everybody here, different nations, different kinds of people. Everybody has got different kinds of changes. Everybody is trying to change their lives here. And it's so beautiful to see the cross. Different people coming from different countries, different towns. Sure. And I'm enjoying it here for the first time. I've never ever seen so many people gather here on this place to get today together. But it's a great privilege to be here. Although it's the first time, there will be a next time too. Mm -hmm. I'd love to come again. with people uh, we manned it for 24 hours our guys from word of faith were there 24 hours every two hours uh, doing deliverance for those who needed deliverance and so on we had some very interesting cases uh, we had major breakthroughs uh, we got testimonies that will make your hair stand straight up but it was awesome. God was awesome, awesome, awesome. That's my first mighty men that uh, I'm attending. And uh, I don't think it will be the last because uh, the team from Word of Faith, we were about 20 men and all 20 men were actively involved in uh, deliverance in counseling and in praying for people we even saw miracles healing miracles happen yesterday a guy had a broken leg and he walked out normal no pain nothing and held his uh, walking stick above his head and we were really praising god for that uh, there were other people with cancer heart conditions and everything and their conditions just changed and God's presence was awesome in the tent so I want to give all praise and glory to the Lord Jesus Christ for what he's done amen oh, morning Dylan good man so it's your first time eh? yeah first time I need to add uh, mighty man okay man so what do you think about it man it's an amazing experience eh? I mean just to be around guys that just want to worship Jesus it's really it's an amazing experience beyond words awesome and what will encourage other people to come through yo if you if you're struggling to find out anything finding belonging finding worth as a guy come down here and just experience it you see other men crying see other men just worshiping Jesus it's amazing it's just it's something that really hits you deep wow man what stuck out most for you I think sitting here on this mountain this morning just before the cross had about probably about 30 40 guys just standing around praying together at like <laughs> one degree temperature and it's just guys go beyond the call of duty just to worship Jesus it's amazing awesome man tell me for the young generation out there you got maybe a message for them or something guys whatever you do don't seek what the world says about you there might be things 
might be legit to party, it might be legit to go to clubs and whatnot, it might be cool to seek uh, Instagram fame or Facebook fame, but there's one thing that's just that goes beyond that, and that's letting Jesus tell you who you are. And that sometimes it's hard, but when you get there, when you get to that place where Jesus says, you are my daughter, you are my son, it's amazing like that. So yeah.